Hey, welcome back in, in today's video. You've been waiting on this one by popular demand. The first episode of I'm Poppy explained. I think we have everything. We have the fidget spinner of truth. We have the world's greatest headphones. And you guessed it. The Illuminati protection glasses. Couldn't do it without them. Let's break down, analyze, and get into this video. We got a girl laying there on the ground. Is that Poppy? Okay, right off the bat, we got the obvious checkerboard symbolism on the floor. I would say the setting is in a Masonic Lodge, since all Masonic Lodges have the checkerboard symbolism. We have symbols surrounding the girl. This is a ritualistic ceremony, of course. Kind of reminds me of a gathering of uh, the Death Eaters in Harry Potter. The Masonic checkerboard. Duality symbolism. The Masonic checkerboard is one of the most important symbols to the Illuminati. For it is used in ritualistic ceremonies, this is because black and white is a symbol for duality or base of consciousness. Base consciousness is important because it is where all other states of consciousness arise. So basically good and evil intrinsically together, you cannot have one without the other. Remember that. Okay, that's not Poppy. Her eyes are dilated. The black in them is dilated, uh, showing fear. You were the chosen one. Okay, clearly this is a a breach in contract, if you will. Earlier last year, there were two separate uh, cases where uh, celebrities defied their uh, contracts. I think there was the Taylor Swift one and the the Kesha one, and they came back and they did very symbolic. Uh, Vi music videos representing a change to a new person and I think this is very intriguing because this is obviously what this represents these the, the uh, breaching contract and to the extreme uh, it is definitely being portrayed here oh man by someone who knows their role someone who knows how to follow the rules replaced <laughs> symbolizing uh, replacing pop stars and how easily pop stars are usually replaced wonder who is replacing this girl i think it'd be really nice to be famous she has 50 million followers oh. 50 million yes Okay, this this guy's obviously s symbolizing uh, your average producer only particularly interested in the numbers. And I think it's really cool because uh, they're portraying it like this, where they're in like shock and awe of Poppy doing what we've seen her do in every video uh, all last year. And the next scene is, uh, th this part is very cool because it's giving us an in-depth look at one of the notorious characters in the Poppy Phenom. That's right. It's Charlotte, <laughs> and the aesthetic is a little crazy. It must have been really hard for them to maneuver a mannequin. Who cares? Hi, I'm Poppy. Do you want to be just like me? Yes, of course. Everybody wants to be just like Poppy. So you can see the jealousy of this. As the story unfolds, we're seeing different things. We've known Charlotte's has a, a jealousy thing with Poppy, but we've not really known so much of the backstory between why there is so much hate and jealousy in this. And I'm thinking that we might be able to see a little bit of that in this new series. Now, we have long speculated that, po that Poppy uh, was probably going to be the protagonist and Charlotte is more of the antagonist. Uh, and you can kind of see where there's very humanistic features to do with um, Charlotte. And I'm thinking that she's symbolizing uh, not, you know, a mannequin, but maybe a specific type of personality. Because I think that every one of us knows somebody that has this similar kind of uh, persona as Charlotte. Room is Rose. 
we have our first new character um i feel like this could be a staple character is why i want to point it out rose uh speaking in i want to say poppy's native tongue of uh, blips and bleeps but rose water ladies and gentlemen let me know in the comment section what you think about this character i think it's really intriguing how they're using it in in this show oh that's a great idea would you like to take a selfie with me i'm going to talk to you today about a tv show your tv show <laughs> So I think this scene is more than likely symbolizing how a person signs contracts and they feel like it's a good thing at the time, but then it's also showing the blood coming from her mouth, like a more of a discomfort. Like it's something that you can kind of feel in the background, but it's like not really seen in the fr in at first. So it's more of a feeling. So it's discomforting the uh, darker side of Hollywood. This is our first look at Poppy's actual uh, home world. It looks like she's stepping out of some kind of portal here. It looks kind of like an hourglass a little bit. We got symbols all around. We got pyramids. We got uh, rose water. We got uh, meteor. I'm really liking the character Rose, guys. I like that. This is a sing along. Okay, we have we have our first sing along. Now this is interesting because I don't know if you remember last year, um, there was uh, that tweet from the Church of Satan, I think it was, where Titanic Sinclair was looking for an African American actor to portray the devil, and they actually reached out and said, we have somebody. I wonder if they hooked up with him and found this guy here. I, I think it turned out really well. Goat's milk? My fate. Okay, goat's milk. That is another symbolism. Baphomet, the goat horned god deity that we all know we've talked about, right? Baphomet, a term that was used to describe the goat horned god deity, idol, that the Knights of Templar actually worshipped. And they were accused of these different cult and mythical traditions. I think there was even like where they put them on trial, uh, where if they would have found guilty, they would have been put to death. But it's crazy because Baphomet is what the pop idols actually worship or said to worship it's like it's kind of like um uh, they take children at a young age and mold them and shape them to their liking using these big pop stars actually in a song uh that drake just put out with 21 savage he actually says in it that he doesn't need love he's the goat and what that is referring to is that these big celebrities these big pop stars uh in, in hollywood they have sacrificed love and in, in, in human humanity to go full on for progression and they're worshiping their deity in that way you'll see this symbol a lot there it is guys poppy signs her soul away to the devil Praise the Lord. to become famous rose is not liking that we got we got charlotte running here Intriguing actually how they're using the aesthetic. I see the wires, but I think it's it's this is the more comedic approach of the series I, I'm liking it. They're really making me feel like Charlotte is a real person. I'm really interested in the backstory of her What's up? It's Charlotte here. This is my first vlog. I've been wanting to do this for a while, but I just I like the hesitation did you notice the hesitation before she posted the vlog? I think that hesitation represents a lot about what, <clears throat> how people are afraid to put themselves out there for criticism. And I think it's really important that if you guys want to do something, something big, bigger than yourselves, you you need to not worry about the criticism of others because criticism is gonna gonna come. Uh, don't worry about what other people think. Get out there on your grind, and do what you gotta do. Work. What's up? How was she? Oh, uh, she was amazing. That's really great. It must be nice to have real hair and skin. Yeah, and I just want to thank you again for introducing me to her. Wow. Okay, so Charlotte introduced so, Poppy. Man, I feel like she's exactly the thing I need to get to that. And we'll have to send that to him. As he's been traveling this whole week, it's been impossible to get him to read anything. That was. Re this is a really dark and morbid scene here, as we've seen the prescription medication right by a knife. It looks like Charlotte is down the dark path of depression. I really think it's interesting that Charlotte is portrayed as the one that introduced Poppy, and she also made a reference that it must be nice to have real skin and hair. I wonder if this is symbolizing the fact that Charlotte has tried so much to to become famous 
that she's become plastic how a lot of people do get plastic surgery and things like that and now she's not even a real person i've long thought that in order to 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 if you want fame if you want money and you're really desperately searching for it i don't think that you're going to get it i think those things come if you can just kind of you're like i said in a video earlier this year reason why your reason why has to be uh a big differentiating factor of why you will be successful or not if your reasons are to specifically become famous and get all this money i don't think you're going to get it i think it has to be like a pure reason if you will Hello. this is the first introduction to the cult the crazy One cult soon, yes. we will of course we're going to see a cult in this series for the god child has been delivered to our whoa wait a second charlotte is a member of the cult I didn't I did not see this coming what does it mean that Charlotte is part of the cult and she introduced Poppy wow what I think it's interesting because I know a girl that has the same facial expression as Charlotte hmm famous than anyone else on the planet I'm so happy you're watching my new show right now she's the chosen one she's the chosen one she's the chosen one okay they're all saying she's the chosen one this is the god child apparently this is the the uh cult coming in probably to try to steal uh poppy poppy in the hospital now we've seen this before yeah how did you sleep where am i you're in one of the finest medical facilities in North America. Ivan Cross is portraying this executive that's really supporting, but we know how not how not good this guy is. Those were not people that want to be powerful. I want to be famous so I can share my high quality content with the entire world. <laughs> and we are going to make you very famous. <laughs> Rose. I'll let you get some rest. Oh, did you see that? Let you get some rest. Look at the eyes. Boom, lizard. Lizard man. Okay, where have we seen this before? It's becoming apparent now. That's right. You guessed it. Charlotte copying Poppy. Wow. Just like the videos. Blessed Notice the owl symbolism? Child on his on his chest the all the symbolisms are all really strong occultist uh, symbolic ties I'll, that's what i'm loving about this series the owl symbolism with the occult and secret knowledge has a long history since the times of the greeks and romans the owl ruler of the night was guardian of the underworld inhabited by demons an owl was always on the shoulder of minerva and athena goddesses of wisdom and learning symbolizing the occult knowledge of the pagan gods one of the more interesting things that i, I seen was it's like a it's like a shot straight out of uh star wars where darth vader is bowing to uh darth sidious okay we thought and we initially thought that ivan cross was the ringleader for this uh this illuminati uh order now we see this guy here it doesn't act it doesn't show who this person is but i'm guessing that this might actually be titanic sinclair i'm really interested in this i'm really actually interested in what you think do, do you think that this is titanic sinclair is he the one pulling all the strings has he always been pulling all of the strings as interesting as this is there's always one thing that's more interesting to repzilla that's right you guessed it i want to know what you think so why don't you go ahead and put your creative and or interesting responses in the comment box below thumbs up for this like and as always brothers and sisters i will see you in the next video wow they did a great job with this series and i am going to continue to keep following it um let me know if you like this slap a like on the video if this is something that you want me to continue doing um i'm really uh i, I think they're gonna do i think they release these weekly so we'll do one of these every week um if there's anything else that i missed that you caught you let me know in the comment section go to the repzilla twitter let me know there 
Um, don't forget to follow on Snapchat, Repzilla, because I'm going to be coloring my hair and doing all kinds of cool stuff. But man, it's going good. Uh, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe with notifications turned on so you can be part of the Rep Squad and be repping and gregging and be in the comment section to every single video because I'm going to be there the whole rep squad is going to be there Greg the cat's going to be there and we're just going to be hanging out and chilling because that's another reason why this channel loves you